السلام علیکم دس ویڈیو از فور کلاس فور سبجیکٹ از انگلش اینڈ دس از آر تھرٹین لیسن ٹوڈے ویل ریوائز دیز لیسنس یونٹ ون ٹو اینڈ تھری آف پروگریسو بک لیسن ون ٹو اینڈ تھری آف گرامر بک اینڈ دین اپلیکیشن Okay, so let's start. So let's begin from unit 1, the C. Question number 1 is, What do Dave and Jack use to find the sunken ship? Answer is, They use an echo screen. Question number 2. How far is the sunken ship from the boat? Answer is, it's about 80 meters below. Question number 3 is, How long does Jack plan to spend on the seabed? Seabed is a ground under the sea. Okay, answer is, About 40 minutes. Question number 4 is What does Jack breathe through? Answer is Through an airline. Question number 5 is What does Jack speak through? Answer is through a phone line. So he speaks through phone line. Question number six is Why is it hard to see inside the old ship? Answer is because it's very dark. Question number 7 is Why is it hard for Jack to fight the octopus? Answer is Because it's a giant octopus. Okay, giant is a very great size octopus. Question number 8 is Question number 8 is Was it more important To bring up the treasure or to come up safely? Answer is It was more important to come up safely. Okay, now let's revise. You need two earth watch question answers. Question number one is Why do you think Eileen and her husband live in the forest? Answer is because Eileen studies apps and her husband protects them. Question number two is why do hunters kill the apes? Answer is The hunters kill the apes to sell the meat. Question number three is Why is Aline bottle feeding Titch? Titch is a baby ape. Answer is Because Titch is too small to eat leaves and fruits. Another question, question number one. Where will the water for the village come from? The water will come from a spring in the hills. Question number two is. How long will the pipeline be? Answer is the pipeline will be 11 kilometers. 
long. So 11 kilometers is the answer. Question number three is, which daily job won't the villagers do in future? Answer is, they will not walk 11 kilometers to collect water. Another question is, what will the villagers be able to grow? Answer is, they will be able to grow fruit and vegetables. Okay, now let's do review of unit number 3. Question answers is jung the jungle book. Question number 1 is, which animals protected the jungle boy from the tiger? Answer is the wolves. Wolves actually protected the jungle boy from tiger. Question number two is Why couldn't the tiger hunt wild animals? Answer is because it had a bad leg. That's why. Question number three is What did the tiger eat instead? Answer is the tiger ate cows. Question number 4. What happens if animals kill people? Answer is man with gun will come and everybody in the jungle will be in danger. Another question is why was Mowgli alone in the jungle? Because his father and mother ran away. That's why he was alone. Okay, question number six is Why did Shere Khan become angry at the end of the story? Answer is because the wolves didn't give the man cup to him. Okay, cub means a baby. Another question is, question number seven. Why do you think the man cub went to the wolf's cave? Answer is, because he was alone and hungry. That's why he went to the wolf's cave. Okay. Okay, another question is, complete the sentences. You have to complete these blanks. Point number one. A baby wolf or bear is called a dash. It's called a cub. Blank number two. A deep hole in a hill where animals live is a cave. Blank number three, big animals, dash small animals to kill and eat them. Big animals, hunt small animal. The entrance to a cave is called the dash. It's called the mouth. Number five is, if you have your own house, the house dash to you. The house belongs to you. Number six. People who steal things from other people are called thieves. Number seven. A large thick forest in Asia is called a jungle. Okay, move on. Complete them by inserting the correct proper noun ok this is the lesson of your grammar book students a proper noun is a noun that names particular person place or thing ok for example Sara the name of a person Rawalpindi name of place and Friday they are all 
proper nouns names of books films and plays are also proper nouns okay so you have to complete these blanks by inserting the correct proper noun sara lion king jungle book mount Aver- mount everest a given dash is my best friend sara saira is my best friend okay his favorite book is dash book is jungle book i went to see the film dash with my school friends film name is lion king dash is the highest mountain peak of the himalayas the highest mountain peak is mount everest so these are some examples of a proper noun okay another question is fill in the blanks with a suitable preposition from the choices given in brackets okay students prepositions are words that show the relationship of a noun or a pronoun to another word in a sentence number 1 kaidi asam mohammad ali jinnah was born dash 25 december 1876 he was born on 25 december okay not at we use on when we talk about um, yes when you talk about any particular date benji has gone with a walk or for a walk for is the correct preposition i am writing a letter dash my friend to my friend number 4 is which letter comes between p and r which letter comes dash p and r between is a correct preposition here here yeah, between means in the middle of okay when we separate two things so between is typically used for when referring to two things and among is used for greater number another question is underline the number order adjectives hamfrey came second in the class the fourth man in the line is our maths teacher every fifth line rhymes in this poem there is a train every third minute this is her 10th birthday so second fourth fifth third and 10 these are all number order adjectives okay now move on to application it's an application for an urgent piece of work okay so pattern will remain the same for all applications and you will start it like this the principal comma light school and you will write it towards the left side and then you'll write the name of your city rawalpindi and then comes the salutation respected sir and then after comma in the next next line you'll write a formal phrase it is stated that and then you'll give a reason i have an urgent piece of work at home so i cannot come to school kindly grant me leave for one day okay so you should be more precise and make it straight to the point and then you'll write a formal sentence i shall be very thankful to you and then and then you'll write yours obediently then your name class and section and then date and you'll write date like this 14th july comma 2020 full stop this is the end of my lesson learn all these question answers plus application and and grammar practice is very important and thanks for watching